What's up, guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to our, our channel. channel. It's Carly Sam. You already know it's your boy Sam. Yeah, and I'll be back with another banger. Ooh. First and foremost, I want to welcome back my beautiful lady. She is back. Do you want to tell yes, me where you've been? Yes, y'all, I am back. All right, y'all, so I was gone for like two weeks or so, and I think, I'm thankful for him to, you know, keep everything going while I was gone. If I didn't check out our recent food review, make sure I go check it out. It was with Cairo. He was in replacing me. But yeah, I was in Pennsylvania. Uh, my grandparents were in the hospital, so I had to go over there, you know, and, you know, show my love and, you know, just spend time with them and all that type of stuff. It's a long story, but that's just, you know, it very short. So God bless if y'all can keep them in your prayers. I really appreciate it. I felt so weird not even doing any type of YouTube videos for two weeks. It, it was just really weird. And I'm just so happy that I am back and we're about to get back into everything. So y'all already know I'm back and I got some stuff up my sleeve. So yeah. Before we start digging in and eating, we just want to give a huge thanks to yes, Cowboys Brazilian thanks. Grill. Yes, y'all. This is our first time ever trying Brazilian food. So we ended up doing a collaboration with them. Yes. And we're very excited shout to out try to this food. Yes, shout out to Cowboys Brazilian Grill. If y'all are in the Roswell, Sydney Springs area of Atlanta, make sure I definitely come and check them out. But let's just dig right into this video. Let's go. Let's go. First thing that we're gonna start off with is this chicken. Chicken and, if you want, baby, and right. the rice. It's just like your regular white rice, but I'm definitely excited to try rice from them. And this is the chicken. It was came freshly right off the stick, as you guys can see. Off of the grill, it yes. Also wrapped in bacon. Yes, y'all. We we taking another white. another hit. We gotta try it with the bacon on it. Yes. The name of this chicken is actually going to be. It's the one. It's on a kebab, and it's chicken with bacon. Uh, pina colada, pina 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 I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. There's also a beef rib one and chicken hearts. So I don't know if that's all on here. But no, this and is a chicken you can, one. Okay, yeah, this is a chicken one. And you can also get rice, beans. Uh, the beans are going to be Brazilian style, and yuca and a vinaigrette. Here it is again up close, y'all. This looks very good and juicy. Yes. You see the bacon wrapped around it, bro. It's been a while since I had bacon. Mmm. I knew this chicken would be really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. The only thing I would say though, it's definitely good. I, it's definitely good. I would just, one thing with me is just a, like a necessity for me. I always like to have a sauce. So if they have like, I don't, you didn't even ask them. I'm pretty sure they have a sauce. Um, but I think this will look, taste super good with the sauce. But without a sauce, it's still good. How does it taste, baby? Um, it's like a nice grilled taste to the chicken, but the bacon being wrapped over it just complements it very well. So, um, I like it a lot. I'd probably give this a 9, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'd give it a 9. For if me, it had some sauce, I'd give it a 10. For me, um, chicken's really cooked well. I love how it was wrapped with the bacon, it gave it a little extra taste to it. Um, the season, everything flow. Just one downfall to me the chicken's really dry. I wish it was sauce. Uh, when I got there, she didn't really, you know, put any sauces in there, so I don't know if there's sauces that go with it. But it, overall, it's it's really good. I give it a nine. What do you give it? I give it a nine. I, no, like, the, I like the flavor that ties in with the bacon. It's really good. Mm. It's really good. I like it a lot. All right, let's go into the rice. Right, right. Mmm. I love. Um, this is really good. I love that taste. I had the same tasting rice before, and I love it. Where is, like, what, what's the flavor in here? Almost, this is like literally just plain white rice, but it's some some type of flavor in here. Mm. It tastes like, not Mexican, it tastes like Puerto Rican rice. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. No, there's like a little kick in here. I don't know exactly what's in this rice, but it mm. tastes good. It's like seasoned, but like it doesn't look like there's no seasoning on here. It's definitely like seasoned. What does it taste like? Like honestly, I don't need nothing else with that rice. Mm -mm. Nothing. I can eat that whole thing. Just plain. That's it's really like good. juicy. You taste it's I don't know the I don't know the, the spice or whatever. What's the flavor? But it definitely tastes like Puerto Rican rice, but seasoned really differently. I know it's that doesn't mean that it tastes like Puerto no, Rican rice. That you know that flavor I'm telling that Puerto Rican texture flavor, yeah. Okay. It definitely tastes like that, but I don't know what it's seasoned with. 
No, we don't know what this is seasoned with, but definitely this is really good and I'll definitely recommend the rice. Mm. I definitely wanted the black beans, but he didn't get the black beans. But I think that and the beans with this. Mm, that would be good. That would be so good. But this is really good. Y'all can see it already. Mm. That rice is good. I'm gonna go with this. Not even gonna cap on that rice. Rice, a 10. Definitely. Rice, definitely a 10. Definitely. All right, next we got up is we got fried yuca. But fried fried yuca. yuca is whatever. What is fried yuca? Is it corn? No, it's like a yuca root. I don't know how to explain it. I know what it is, but I don't know how to explain it. It's like brown on the outside, but like they trim it off mm -hmm. and you just like boil it. Is it a vegetable? Is it like I a think starch? I think it's kind of like that. It's similar to a potato, but not exactly. Okay. And then we also have a rice cake. Rice cakes. These look very interesting. It looks like an egg filled with, I guess, rice inside? We don't know what it is. I have no idea what is inside of here at all, so I'm very excited. I tasted yuca a very long time ago, but let's just get okay, right into, into this. this. I'm gonna, how about you let's, grab let's the yuca? Let's do the yuca at the same yeah. time. Okay, okay, okay. All right. It's similar to potatoes, but you kind of have to like, like yuca. Bro, it tastes like a, a big potato fry. Mm -hmm. It's good. This would it's be just bacon. like a different, a different. You see how it's like the texture. Mm -hmm. This is this is good for real. You definitely need a sauce to it. Don't just eat this dry, like we're doing. But ketchup, mayo would be good. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe a special Brazilian sauce would yeah. be good. A no, sweet this is sour really sauce. good though. Mm. Obviously, it's really dry. It has some flavors to it. It's not that dry. It's not. Yeah, it's not dry. Um. It's, I get this I, like an eight. I taste the season. I get this an eight. You taste it a little bit? Mm-hmm. Actually, no. This is like an eight and a half. That's good. good. Eight and a half. That's how like you just if you just add the sauce to it, this would be banger. Mm. This mm. is good. Literally, like any choice of your sauce that you would like to do, dip it in. This would be good. Mm. That is good. I really wasn't even expecting. Then you finish that whole thing. Damn. It's good. Yuka fry, mm. definitely thumbs up. Yeah, you gotta make them homemade now. Mm -hmm. Let's get some of this drink, y'all, because I need something to drink. <laughs> this is going to be um, Granara. Don't look at me. I'm Antarctica, the Brazilian original Granara soda. And. Mm. Jay, was in it? It doesn't really say. I mean, it reminds me of like a ginger ale. No, so what's in this drink, it just says carbonated water, sugar, citric acid, natural flavors, and sodium benzenite, potassium. Looks like a a Sprite or a ginger ale, like you said. What I don't you know, but I'm thirsty, so let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, hold on, I need to open it. I about to say, no, chip and nail. It's like cherry, and this cherry's right there on there. It's like a cherry. It's good. It's different. It's like a cherry soda, but not like a harsh cherry flavor. It's different. Okay. It's different. Okay. I don't know. It's like a it's like a light it's like a light cherry flavor soda, right? Bro, it's like a red fanta. No, it's not that strong though. It's not like that strong. No, it's not strong, but it's like a light cherry flavor. It's like a cherry fanta, a cherry light fanta, literally. Or like a, a tropical mm. berry sprite. Oh man. That's what it tastes like to me. That is some good stuff though. That's good. So if I ever if I need a pop, I think that I'm, is good. And I go in like a Brazilian place, I'm definitely grabbing one of those. Let's dig into these rice cakes. I'm scared to try this because I don't know what this season tastes like. So it literally just looks like they stuffed it with like rice and, and something else. I don't know what else that is in there. Parsley. Rice, parsley. Mm. I never had this in my life. Never. What is this thing? I don't know. It's just just rice in here, right? I no, I think something else. I don't know what that is. Rice? It tastes like corn. Rice and egg. Oh it's cheese. There's cheese. Rice, cheese, onion. Rice, cheese, onion, and stuff like that. I think so. 
It's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. It's not um, bad. This, this one, this one is a little dry though. Yes, this is a little bit dry. But it's not, it's not nasty though. So I think like maybe if these are like fresh out, mm. I feel like they'll probably taste like ten times better. Alright, so this is up these. next. Let me see what this is called. You said oh fried. This is called fried coxina. I think I don't know if that's how it, how it's supposed to say. Shredded chicken and corn. So I have no idea. Oh. That's it, right? Uh, yeah, that's what it said. Right. I guess just it's oh. Fried. <gasps> I think this is hamburger in this one. Or am I tripping? No, it might be corn. Where? I'm just taking All a right. bite. Okay. That's shredded chicken. Let me taste this one. Tell me what you think. That is really different. That's really different. That it's 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 actually good. That is really different. I was just scared at first because I don't like oh I don't like stuff that I can't see inside. <laughs> Yo, know, I just I'd be weird with stuff like that. But show them, show them how it looks. But this would look like an inside. You see a little cream coming it's like out. Like sour stuff. cream or something. Like Let sour cream or something filled in there. Shredded chicken. Wait, is this this is beef? No, it's not. Yes, it is. You can see it. This is the beef one. That's the chicken one. It's know. good. It's really different. I don't even know what to say. And these are these are heavy, yo. Yeah, they're like like you can really hurt somebody with ball. this. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah, yours is that one's shredded chicken. Shredded chicken with looks this. like sour cream or something. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely, that, but the outer layer tastes like potato, right? Mm -hmm. No, it does. Potato ball. Mmm. I'm not even gonna cap though. This is good. These are really good. This is so different. It's really good. No, but let me taste that turtle chicken one again. Mm. I'm saying it's just neat. Like, how do they even? What do you do? What do you do? Do you just? I mean, I know like a Puerto Rican is like the um, relleno de papas, oh so it's like the potato balls, and like you put like the hamburger meat inside, but. It's kind of similar to that one, but this one, I don't know how to do this one. This one, I don't know. It's, it's really good. good though. At the end of the day, these are both good. Remember, you got this. This is like cream cheese. Mm hmm. Cream cheese. Not sour cream. So, you don't cream. think this is the same thing? Maybe that one's sour cream. This one is just cream cheese. I don't know. Sorry, y'all. We're just trying to get into this and really, like, see. Yeah, what's no, going this, on. Is, this is very interesting. Y'all definitely gotta go try this out. It's called the fried coxina. Mm. Both of these. These are really good. Mm. Definitely, mm -hmm. We're gonna save those for later. We'll probably get some to Cairo. Definitely. Mm. Alright. Those are really good. What do you give those like as a rating? I give them a tip because they're very interesting and the taste, everything just flows together. Like, yeah, no, that's everything is true. goes together. That is true. Alright, yeah, so we do have two other desserts over here, but then also we wanted to try these candies and like just save those ones for the last. So we're gonna try the Nestle Prestigo Mass Coco. So the, I guess this is like a coconut chocolate bar or something like that. This is how it looks. Prestige. All right, let's try it. Oh. I don't like coconut. I don't like coconut. No, I hear with coconut. This is definitely <laughs> coconut, guys. <laughs> That's all coconut. It's not that bad. It's not bad. I just guys. It's coconut. I don't do coconut at all. Like if you put coconut in anything, whatever to your dish, cook chicken in that in whatever. I, I'm not well with coconut. The chocolate. It's not that bad though. It's definitely good. Chocolate's good. I'm just coconut. I I fill it with something else. Yeah, no, it's definitely good. Um, it's definitely a different type of thing. But if you like coconut, I'll definitely recommend that one. We're not too much of a coconut fan, but it wasn't that bad for me. So I'll definitely say if you like coconut, definitely try that one. This one is going to be Baton Alolite. This is this one. Is that just chocolate, bro? Yeah. This is pure chocolate. Alright, ready? Let's go. Mmm. 
Nothing's filled in it. It's just chocolate. There's literally a, a chocolate stick. <laughs> a chocolate stick. Mm. I give it a 10. That's, yeah. I like chocolate. That's definitely a 10 for me. This is <laughs> that's some good chocolate. This one is Son Sonho. Sonho de Valsa. Sonho de Valsa. Sounds like it's gonna make us dance. <laughs> I see the... This is just like a little chocolate ball. Look, I saw them. Since that looks like a Twix. Mmm. What is this? Ooh. Like, what, I mean, what is this? Ooh. Everything's in Brazilian, so I can't read it. Yo. Yeah, it's in Brazil. I don't know what's in here. You eat this with a cold glass of milk? That's oh really my good. Oh gosh. Dang, you say me a piece? I'll take that back. That's better than Kit Kat. I'm sorry. A little wafer and like, it looks like peanut butter. There's a peanut Where? in there. It's a peanut. Yeah, it's a peanut butter. They have the truffle. The wafer. Mm -hmm. That's, that is good. Yeah, it's super good. Would you take that over a Kit Kat? Yeah. You would? I would too. Mm, that was. It's like. I don't even know how to explain the taste. It just tastes like custard. Custard with like a little caramel topping. I feel um I feel it's definitely good, but I just personally like the flans to be uh a little bit more sweeter. Mm -hmm. That's just what I personally like. But if it's not, you know, if you don't like too much of like major sweet things, this would be perfect for you. Um, but me, I just like it to be a little bit more sweeter. But um, other than that, it's really good. It's definitely um, prepared correctly, um, all put together. And I feel like it's really good, but just a little bit more sweetness, and I feel like it would be a little better. Yeah, just like to, uh, just like what Carly said. I, I just wish it was a little bit more sweeter. Uh, it's definitely jelloey texture. It's um, custard. Yeah, but everything's good on it. It's yes. good. It's definitely uh, okay. a good dessert. The next dessert is going to be called a brigadiero. Brigadiero. I think you said that wrong, but. Brigadiero. That's what it looks like, guys. Right? It's like a cupcake, a sprinkled cupcake. And now it's like a truffle with sprinkles on it. It's chocolate. Oh, this is major chocolate. This is definitely double chocolate. Let's dig into this. That's major chocolate. Oh my gosh. And it's so small. It's like smooth. Like, but it's really good too. Just caution when you eat these, you definitely need a drink. Oh my gosh. I almost got stuck in my throat. I got stuck right here. <laughs> like. No, it's like a thick chocolate. I don't know, like a mousse. That's what it almost Maybe tastes like. Maybe like a thick mousse, mm -hmm. mousse. But it's not like super thick. It's like, thi I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's no, it's thick, definitely thick. Thick and smooth at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like it's no lumps, no anything. Very Nothing. smooth. Um, kind of similar to a fudge, I would say. Mm -hmm. Like a fudge ball. It's it's, it's it's some good chocolate though. I tell you that. It's Different it's, good. It's good. Mm. All right, y'all. So we did forget we did get this little um, bread. It's called pau de queso. I'm assuming that this is like a cheese bread. Um, this is how it looks. I like it. It's good. Definitely cheesy. Cheese bread. Yeah, literally basically. Cheese ball bread. Oh. It's good. It's not too doughy. It's a perfect blend of the cheese and the uh, bread. Yeah, I feel like it's a good mixture between the both of them. Um, this I don't know good. what type of cheese this is though. Like this would literally just be good. Like if you just have your butter on the side, dip it in there. Mm -hmm. This would be good. All right, so we're gonna try the bubble bubblegum. You can try the blue one. And I'm gonna try the pink one. I knew something was inside, yo. We've been getting a lot of surprises. Ah! Ooh. Right away, it's a, it's like I'm almost chewing a mint. That's how I didn't want that one. <laughs> And whatever the filling was inside. Oh. But it was minty. Really minty. 
I have, mine's like fruity. Did you have filling inside? Yeah, it's a bubble gum that have a filling inside. Mm. But it's just, you know, a regular piece of bubble gum. Just mm -hmm. filled with a surprise and Whatever really type minty. of flavors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so that was it for our little Brazilian, basically like test, taste testing, I guess. Basically for we this basically one. had a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. um, they do have a huge variety for like a buffet option. They have, you know, like different types of stews, steaks, chicken, uh, rice, beans, and a bunch of other stuff as and well. And many more desserts. If I ever go there again, I'm definitely grabbing that rice along with that, that chicken, chicken. The definitely. balls, the cheese bread, the yuca fries. Pa possibly everything that we just got. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm coming back for it. I appreciate you guys again, like always, for tuning in and watching our videos. Carlisa is back yes. and here to stay. So stay in tune with us. Watch for Saturday's video. We out.